Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're spot on and thanks for watching this video. Now I'll be shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I got. So I've seen these were new, um, TGI Fridays for cheese and jalapeno hot dogs with a one chilli rating. Uh, 500 grams and there is the serving suggestion. And these were £3.75. So yeah, the, the, everything's going up I'm afraid. It's just the, the sign of the times as they say. <laughs> Can't help that. But it's new. And it's a hot dog and I've got to try it. So let's have a look at the box. So there is uh, some nutritional information. Uh, per two hot dogs, oven baked, 506 calories. Now let's have a look at the ingredients. There we go, look. Pork, 82%. Um, few allergens, haven't we? Uh, well, milk, one allergen actually. Um, and if you want to have a look at them for any nasties, let me know. Um, and they are the preparation instructions. You can defrost them 24 hours. Once defrosted, use immediately. You can pan fry and oven from defrost. You can oven from frozen. Or you can barbecue from defrost. Um, it looks like it's Polish. Origin of pork EU. Produced in Poland for Iceland foods. So, let's get them open. Little, uh, little tab on the side there. Look. So this is that. Have a look at that little best before look. 17th of November. And it even says when the frozen look. 17th of February they were frozen. So, hang on a minute. I've got something in my fridge. Just a minute. So I've got some sausages sent to me by Willie Johnston in Glasgow. Uh, from Costco. He sent us these lovely um, sausages look. Um, and these are, I can confirm. We had hot dogs yesterday and they are good. Good, good, good. Thank you very much, Willie. Sent me a lovely note as well. Um, yeah, they are tasty. I think they're about 80, 86 or 87% pork. And there's no mechanically reformed chicken or any of that sort of stuff in them. They are good, really good. So thank you very much, Willie, for that. So these, uh, these look like, yeah, I mean, let's have a look at the front. Look at them, look, I mean... They remind me, well, I don't know at the moment, but like German sausage. It reminds me of German sausage. Well, it's Polish sausage, isn't it? Not not far from Germany. And I know that uh, Polish sausage is good as well, isn't it? As is German, German sausage. When I was in Germany, I used to eat it all the time with the curry bursts and that. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to get them open now. So a little bit of spear there. I missed, I missed it before. It's four cheese and jalapeno hot dogs. Uh, smoked and steamed pork sausages with cheddar and coloured cheddar cheeses. Jalapeno pepper and seasoning. Mmm, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm going live this Friday night at 8 o'clock if you want to join us, that'll be great. Tune in, get some beers in and we'll have a, we'll have a laugh. Maybe do the quiz. Oh, nearly cut my finger off then. <laughs> we'll do a quiz if you want to do it. Let us know on the night and uh, yeah, we'll just let our hair down, and won't we? That's what it's all about, isn't it? You've got to keep, keep smiling while I say. There we go. Look at that. Hey, <laughs> oh, look at these. So the three pound and seventy-five p. So what's that divided by four? I'll have to do me little mathematical calculator out. So I'm going to stick them on there. Look. 93.75 pence a dog. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Google. Um, so, 180, I'll do them at 170. And I'll do them for 15 minutes on bake setting. And then basically what you do after that, you have to separate them, turn them over and cook them for another 20 minutes uh, at 180. That's in a conventional oven I'm doing in my, my multi-cooker. So what I'll do, I'll bring you back when I'm turning them over. So I, I'm going to have mine with some of this look as well. It's a jalapeno um, sauce. And, and also I, I'm going to sharpen my knife as well. This was a gift as well. Miles sent me this. Thank you very much, Miles, for that. It's a cracking gift. Sharpening your knives. I don't have to get them sharp like. It's called Any Sharp, the world's best knife sharpener. Spot on gift. So I'm going to do an onion as well. 
Um, because obviously you want onion with your your hot dog, don't you? So this is how I um this is how I cut an onion. Uh, let me know how you cut an onion. <laughs> you got any top tips? I know you got to watch your fingers, haven't you? I always I always do like cuts down like that, and then I learned this off television, like you know, two cuts like that. Look, watch them all. Watch the little pinkies. <laughs> And just chop that like that, look. Gotta watch your fingers, yeah. That's for sure. Especially on a sharp knife. What they reckon? They reckon it's better to cut yourself with a sharp knife than a, a blunt knife. <laughs> uh, I prefer not to cut myself at all, to be honest. So here we go. That's that's a little little lesson of cutting an onion over. <laughs> so I'm doing my onions in a, a knob of butter and just a bit of oil, look. So I'm going to let that warm up, stick my onions in there, a bit of salt, and Bob's your uncle. So they're done 15 minutes, I'm going to have them with that as well, that's cracking, cracking uh, mustard, sweet mustard ketchup, that, really good. So I've done them for 15 minutes, now you've got to turn them over. Oh, they're smelling good. Oh, ow, that's hot. <laughs> it's going to be hot. Put that one there like that, have it all the right way there. Bit of uniformity, I'm just going to open them up as well so you get the air between them. And um, so they cook a bit more even. I'll get them back in. Oh, hang on a minute. So I got a gift, I just, just remembered then. I uh, got these sent to me um, through my PO box. Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Seven and a half percent alcohol volume look. Um, so these were sent to me, um, imported, brewed in Nigeria. And I got a lovely message as well. Thank you very much. Send it, um, Martin and Sharon Guy in Nottingham. Hi Gareth, just a little something for you to try on Friday Night Live at the Staying Inn Inn. Um, best served chilled Guinness for an extra stout. Uh, I used to drink draft Guinness but prefer this one. Um, they get it from Sainsbury's. Wow, thank you very much, um, Martin and Sharon Guy in Nottingham. I appreciate that. I'm going to get these open this Friday night because I'm going live at 8 o'clock. Uh, we'll have a night in, in uh, the staying in, in, in here. <laughs> so they're done. They're looking good as well and smelling good. So if you like this sort of a video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, well, push the ball out and... Maybe consider subscribing at least. <laughs> oh, let me get a bit, a bit of light for you. Have a look. Whoa, whoa, it's red hot. That, 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 <laughs> that great red hot just slipped on my hand. Uh, they're, they're a little overdone, I'll be honest. Um, I was just a bit busy doing summit and um, um, <laughs> they're a little bit overdone, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I ain't bothered. It's all going down the grid anyway. Like you know, um, I'm no, I'm no chef, by the way. <laughs> so let's get these assembled. First, I'm going to try one, and then I'm going to assemble a, a hot dog. So let's get this in half. Look, see what we're getting. There we go. Let me show you. That's what you get. Look. Oh, so I'm going to try one now. Let's chop it and try it. Look at that. Cheese and jalapeno hot dogs. No grisly bits in there. Slightly cheesy. I'm getting the, the taste of the jalapenos th th coming through now. You can see them, look. Can you see the bits of jalapeno there, look? If it focuses. There, look, can you see? You can see that. You can see how juicy they are. There, there it is, look. Look how juicy that is. And the red hot as well. Mmm. <laughs> They're nice, they are tasty. 
So you can do this any way you want really, can't you? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick some sauce in the bottom of there, some ketchup. Basically like that. Oh, it's, it's gone everywhere. And I'm going to put my onions in the bottom. Like that. Just stick some in, save some for the other one as well. Like that. Give that, give that a bit of a prodding like, you know, uh, don't waste them. Get your, uh, get your sausage <laughs> and stick your sausage in, look. Get it stuck in there, look. And then what you do, give it more, a bit more uh, sauce. And then you get some mustard as well. Whee! Get that on there, look. Get some mustard on your sausage. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit of this on as well. A dash of um, jalapeno Tabasco. Oh, just a little, just a smidgens. Just to give it a bit of the old flavour like, you know. So there we go, you, you're going to make a hot dog, so I'm going to get into this now. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. A perfect little treat, isn't it? I'm just trying to compare what these would be like. I mean, you go up against... I've done this video and I haven't put it out yet. That one there. The ultimate barbecue sausage. TGI Fridays. It goes up against that. It's the jalapeno with cheese, this one. I, I won't give it away. I won't give it away about the other video, but... Four cheese. I'm going to have to investigate what the four cheeses are. Mm. No. <laughs> Tea towels taking a hit. Grated cheddar and coloured cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Coloured cheddar cheese. Not massive flavours coming through the cheese, I'll be honest. Going live this Friday night, thank you very much for if you got this far, doff me cap. Going live Friday, 8 o'clock, please join us. Uh, new foodies who have just joined the channel, just pop in and say hello. It'd be good, have some, get some beers and we'll have a laugh at the staying in inn. Would I buy these again? Uh, probably, if they were on a deal, I'd buy them again. I wouldn't rush out and buy them. You know, you could shop around and get, you know, get some... Just have a look around. They're all right. They're probably a, probably an eight out of ten, but they're all right. They're all right. Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.